All the NPS funds in the last one year have given negative returns of 11 to 12 percent. This seems very shocking considering that these are pension funds which will be used for the retirement. But these negative returns are only for the equity funds in which you can invest maximum up to 50 percent. So to better understand what NPS is and what kind of funds you have in NPS and if you are someone who is looking to invest in these funds, let's deep dive and understand these funds and their performance. Hello and welcome to Alt Invest, a channel in which I make videos on investments, insurance and personal finance. In this video, I will share details of NPS, all the funds which are there in NPS and what kind of performance they have done in the last few years. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification so that you get notified when a new video is uploaded. So stick around till the end, I am sure you will learn something new with this video. The National Pension Scheme, also known as NPS, was opened to all employees of public sector, private sector and even the unorganized sector, except for those who work in armed forces. In the NPS scheme, the contributions of the subscribers is invested in the market-linked instruments like debt and equity and the returns depend on the performance of these investments. Any Indian citizen from age group of 18 to 60 can open an NPS account. The NPS matures at the age of 60 years and can be extended up to 70 years. Let's understand what kind of accounts you can open with NPS. There are two types of NPS accounts. One is Tier 1, the other one is Tier 2. What are the key differences in these? Tier 1 account. It's a basic pension account with limitations on withdrawal. Before attaining 60 years of age, only 25% of the contribution can be withdrawn, while the rest of 75% has to necessarily used for buying the annuity from a life insurer. After attaining the age of retirement, also 60 years, Close to 60% contribution can be withdrawn and the rest 40% again has to be used to purchase annuity from any of the approved life insurers. Tier 2 accounts. It is a voluntary saving option from which a person can withdraw money limitless. So there are no barriers as such in terms of withdrawals in the tier 2 and it can be used like any other mutual fund account you might have. A mutual fund in which debt and equity investments both are done. So before we get further, I would really appreciate if you can hit the like button that will help the algorithm to spread the word about the video to more investors like you. And please do drop in comments on how you like this video and if there are any other suggestions on this video or any other topics. Let's now understand the types of funds which are there in National Pension Scheme. There are three classes of fund. One is E which is index based stocks, C which is bonds issued by state, government, PSUs and private firms and G wherein bonds issued by central government. How are the risks defined in each of these? In the index based stocks, it carries the market risk like any other large cap equity fund. In the second category which is C in which you get bonds issued by state governments and PSUs going by the quality of companies from which these bonds are purchased, the risk is low. In the third category, there is very less risk but there can be volatility which can't be avoided for long term bonds. So these are the three different types of funds which you will see and the investments which you do would be allocated to each one of this based on your age. Currently there are seven pension fund managers. Following is the list of seven pension fund managers who manage the investments for NPS subscribers. Aditya Birla Sun Life, HDFC, ICSA Prudential, Kotak Mahindra, LIC, SBI and UTI Retirement Solutions. Recently Axis, Tata and Max Life Insurance have also received the necessary approvals to establish a pension fund company. So you should get more information about them entering into the pension fund very soon. Let me take you to my screen and we can get into more details of these NPS funds, their fund performance for the equity side of investments. So here in my screen, now we can see all the funds which are listed over here the ones which I just mentioned. Along with that I have mentioned the AUM, when this scheme was started, the lock-in period for everyone it is the same which is 60 years. Then I have also mentioned the CAGR for 3 years and 5 years and since inception what are the returns for each of these funds. So let's start from the first one which is SDFC. This has the highest AUM, it has 12,800 crores which it manages. The scheme was started in August 2013. The CAGR returns for it is 13% for 3 years and 12.17 for 5 years. And since inception it has given returns of 14.40. In fact if you look at the highest returns which has provided by any pension fund it is HDFC. Also to note is the weightage of top 5 holdings here. 33.57 is HDFC's weightage of top 5 holdings. The next highest is for SBI in terms of AUM. It has 8382. 
let me actually sort it by by overall AUM. You see, SBI is eight thousand three hundred. ICICI has four thousand five hundred. LIC has two thousand five hundred. UTI manages one thousand two twenty seven. Kotak manages 864 and Aditya Birla manages 232 crores. Also, if you look at in terms of age, SBI, ICSA, UTI and Kotak are the ones which have started earliest in 2009. In terms of the returns, SBI has given 11.26 and 10.92% for 3 years and 5 years and since inception it has given 10.35. Similarly, I have mentioned all the returns for each of these pension funds over here just to show you on which ones are performing the best, I will go ahead and highlight the best ones for 3 years and 5 years. And as you can see, HDFC pension fund is the one which has provided the best returns. In terms of weightage for top 5 holdings, I will go ahead and highlight SBI which has the highest in terms of the top 5 holding percentage. So these are some details about each of these pension funds and how they are performing over a long period of time. Let's also look at the portfolio for each one of these companies. I have mentioned here the top 5 holdings and also the top 3 sectors. What you would be able to see is that majority of companies are same for all of these like Reliance Industries, ICICI, HDFC, Infosys and TCS. You would find the same kind of companies across all of these pension funds. Only notable difference is in ICICI you will see a UTI overnight fund also which is there in top 5 holdings. Also in Aditya Birla you will see an access overnight fund. In terms of sectors also you will see that banking sector the IT which is software IT and oil and gas are the ones which have maximum allocation and in some cases there are overnight funds also in which they are invested which is why you will see them mentioned along with oil and gas and IT. So this was a quick view of the top 5 holdings and top 3 sectors for each of these funds. Now you might ask where are the negative returns which I have mentioned in the title and also in the beginning of this video. Let me take you to the screen wherein I'll explain how these funds have given negative returns in the past few months. So here I am back on my screen. This is the value research online site where you will find all this information about these NPS. Along with that they also share information about mutual funds and stocks. So let me explain to you how you can view all of this information. Let me go ahead and open up all the equity based funds. You can sort it based on that as well. And here you can see both the fund types which I did mention earlier which is tier 1 and tier 2. The first information what you will see is NAV, then the returns, SIP return value, SIP returns and the assets which I have already shared. So let's start with 6 months and I have put in a monthly investment of 5000 rupees. And as you can see here, the return percentage for the last 6 months for each of these companies are listed here. So the total investment which you would have done is 30,000 which is 5,000 into 6 months and the actual SIP return is what you will see here. Birla would have given you 27,825, HDFC 27,730, similarly ICICI 27,500 and so on. So you will see here the SIP return percentage and also the overall return percentage. So this is something specifically you will see for the last 6 months and 1 year. So these are the returns of SIP if you had invested 5000 rupees for last 1 year. You will see that Birla would have given negative 11.54, HDFC negative 12.56, ICICI negative 13, Kotak minus 12, LIC minus 10, SBA minus 12 and UTA minus 11. Now why you see all of these negative returns is primarily because of the stock market not performing well. But if you see over a longer period of time, so let me take for 5 years, if you had invested 5000 rupees, your total investment for 5 years would have been 3 lakhs and the return percentage is what you see here. And you can see clearly that the overall return percentage over a longer period of time is between 10.44 to 11.84 percentage. So as you can clearly see these NPS funds are something which you should look for a long term basis and in short term you might see fluctuations which is dependent on how the market performs. So you should not be worried about the short term and look for long term because it is specifically for a retirement themed investment. So that was a quick view of how the overall returns and the SIP returns were there for these NPS funds. So that was today's video on NPS, the kinds of funds and how each one of them have been performing. Now basis your risk appetite and your retirement planning, you should also allocate some of your finances into NPS. As a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. So please do consult one before investing in any kind of investments. So if you did like this video about NPS, please do hit the like button, share it with your friends and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. Thank you for watching and have a good day.